Hello, my name is Sean Conley and I'm the State Soybean Small Grains Extension Specialist at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. And today I'd like to discuss some common issues related to soybean emergence and germination problems. First thing I'd like to discuss is one of the common misconceptions regarding soybean seeding depth. Soybean seeds should be placed somewhere between three quarters of an inch and an inch and a quarter deep. One of the most common issues I've seen when walking emergence problems are soybeans planted an inch and a half, two, or even greater than that. So obviously it's very easy to determine the seeding depth when we're seeds in the ground. However, this growth stage, when we're starting to see soybeans coming out of the ground, simple trick to be able to determine what that seeding depth was, was to be able to dig up the soybean plant, and look where the radical starts emerging from the base of the cotyledon. Follow the hypocal up to where we start seeing green tissue. This is where photosynthesis begins to occur. So in this instance, you can see that this sea, this sea was placed actually at two inches de in depth. And in a no-till situation like we're in right now, this would probably be a little bit deep in terms of seeding depth. Another common issue related to soybean is related to emergence problems when we're in a specifically a conventional field and we start seeing compaction as an issue. Now when we start seeing compaction, what we generally see is a swollen hypocotyl. And the reason why it is swollen is that it is trying to be able to exert enough pressure to force our cotyledons above the soil surface. One of the common issues we see at that point is that we start to see loss of these cotyledons as they're pushed through the soil surface. Now, if we lose one cotyledon during the emergence process, we generally see zero yield loss associated with this. However, during the emergence timing, if we lose both of our cotyledons, and we're just left with our unifoliate, at this point, we can see anywhere from 2 to 7% yield loss. The 2% is generally seen in, in the southern Midwest. We tend to see more yield loss as we've moved further north into Wisconsin and Minnesota. And that's generally because we have a shorter growing season and less time for this plant to be able to recover. Obviously, if we tend to see the, as is commonly called, the neck breaking, or the hypocotyl exerts enough force that it breaks in half, this plant is lost and dead because the growing point is above the soil surface, and at this point, there's no place for this plant to recover from. Since soybean um, has what we call epigeal emergence, epigeal emergence means that as a soybean is being pushed above the soil surface, the growing point itself is above the soil surface. So given our earlier planting dates, one of the common questions are, well, if we start to see a frost, how can we injure these plants? The critical threshold for soybean is 28 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you're in an environment where we get below 28 degrees Fahrenheit for an extended period of time, generally we're looking at four hours, we can basically see death of that plant. Generally what we see is if the unifoliate is still protected by the hypocotyl, we tend to see a little bit of an insulation. However, if the unifoliate is above the hypocotyl, we see the that this tissue is the most sensitive to the cooler temperatures and this will basically die due to that exposure, we generally have some questions then related to, is this plant going to die? Well, because of the number of meristems on a soybean plant, even if we lose the unifoliate tissue, we still have axillary meristems at each one of the cotyledons which can regrow and generally see zero yield loss associated with that. The last thing I want to talk about is just general stand assessment soybeans. So if we want to step back a little bit and take a look at it, there are several ways to assess soybean stand. Um, the easiest way I found is one one thousandth of an acre methodology. In general what we do is on 30 inch or 15 inch row soybeans, we measure 17 feet 5 inches and that is basically shown by these, these set of flags in a row. Along this set of flags, we count the number of plants that are emerged during this time frame. We go through and multiply that number by a thousand. So for example, if we counted the number of plants that were emerged along this row here, and it was 120, that would give us 120,000 plants per acre. If we were on 15 inch row spacings, there's two different ways of looking at this. We can either double the length we're measuring and make it 34 feet 
10 inches or keep the same distance of 17 feet 5 inches and count the number of plants along two um, linear rows that are next to each other. For more information related to soybean germination or emergence issues or any other questions related to soybean, please visit our website at coolbean.info.